Hello, Facebook. This is Hal Ganey with Data Tech once again, as we have our next installment of our Cyber Advisor Live series, as we discuss our our voice over IP product. Um, 3CX is a manufacturer of the application that we've chosen. They've they've been around for many years and are a, are a major player in the space. What I wanted to do today was to take some time and give you a glimpse into their client application that end users would be able to use. Today's technology offers us so many chances nowadays to be able to merge our phone and our computer networks together. And for those of you that are tasked with managing phone networks for your company, um, I think by the time we're done today, you'll find that 3CX has done a good job in allowing you to control and also just see what is going on in your phone system. Um, what we have here is I've just put together a five extension system for us here, but I just kind of want to walk you through the process as to what you'd be able to do. Um, in our in our demonstration, um, we're going to talk about some of the features and also touch upon some of the capabilities of some of the advanced features, uh, which we may not show today, but at least you'll get an understanding. Um, in this in this company, we have we have five extensions, so you can imagine all of your extensions as you see them here. Now, I've got a phone connected to this. To, um, uh, system and it is set up so that if I were to, for instance, if I wanted to call James Markley here, I would just click on this this button here and my computer would send the signal to the phone to make the call. So I'm going to go ahead and institute a call James, wherever he is, his, his phone is ringing, and he's going to be able to pick up, and we're going to have a conversation. Um, he wasn't available to pick up at the moment, but at that point, that's how that would work. I'm going to go ahead and make my uh, phone here. I have, I have the mobile app loaded on my Android phone. Um, it'll work with any Android or um, iPhone, the free application um, uh, is, is quick and easy to load. I'm going to change my default phone to my smartphone now, and I'm going to make a call. Um, let's say that I wanted to call Bush Gardens. I happen to have Bush Gardens of Tampa Bay's number in our phone book. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to call that. Well, my mobile phone is ringing. So I can just pick up that. I'm using that phone Thank you to make the call. Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay. If you'd like to make or change your reservation. So I could I could do all of that from the interface of the web client itself. Um, what what that will allow you to do as time goes on is is you can build contacts for your group. Um, in my case, I just have a personal contact that I have typed in, put the phone number. You'll see that the prefix that I'm using here because we, I might want to safeguard my system. I've added a prefix of 99 to dial out so that if anyone were to just, you know, be able to get on my phones here at the office um, and they just dialed the number, they wouldn't know um, of the 99 prefix, so the call would fail. Um, but but anyway, we can we can create contacts just as you would on your cell phone. Um, call comes in and you want to save that number. It's 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 easy to do as well. If I were to click on the call history here, I've got a call that came in from eight one three eight seven two eight zero one one. I could just click that number, add it to my contacts. That happens to be Data Tech's phone number and I can save it. So now, whenever I look at my contacts again, 
I've got, if I could spell, I would have a perfect, um, I would have a contact started there. So if I wanted to call them, I would just click that and off it would dial. I could also, I could just dial from up here. Let's say that I wanted to call data tech. I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and dial my prefix, 813-872-0110. And tell it to dial. It's going to use my mobile phone here to make that call. And then it's going to connect. Your call may be monitored for quality assurance. It connects to data tech. Um, so as you can see, you know, once you get this configured, you probably won't ever have to touch your phone again to make calls. I mean, you obviously can if you want. But it, but it becomes a lot easier, especially if you're in an organization where you may have many shared phone numbers. For instance, um, doctor's offices may have um, a grouping of numbers that all of their employees at one point in time may have to call as they're working on insurance claims and things like that. Well, being able to create a company phone book allows them to be able to just whenever they need to call them if they wanted to type in Humana, if that were a contact in there, it would be there and off they'd be able to call. Um, I don't know if you can notice here, but as you can tell, all of these extensions that we have, they currently show that they are available. Some are green, some are not available, some are not registered. Well. 3C Access System gives you the ability to route your calling based on presence. Currently, I'm available. If I were going to be out of the office for a few hours, I might want to go ahead and just change my status to away. So everyone will be able to see that I'm away up here and also be able to tell that I'm not available to take calls. And what that might mean is that, is that might mean that when a call comes into my extension, it's going to follow whatever my away rules tell it to do. Well, I could modify that. If I wanted to come down here and I wanted to go to my away status, I might want all internal calls, anybody that you know works at our company, I might want them to be able to find me um, by either going to another extension, maybe my mobile number, um, various things, or in this case, if I'm out of the office, I'm going to be gone for a few days. I may want to have all of my externally generated calls go to another extension. And I'm going to choose, in this case, I'll choose James Markley. So while I'm in the away status, if, if an external call came into me, it's going to be forwarded automatically. Now this gives the end user the ability to route their calls 24 seven. As I'm using a web client, this, this can be accessed anywhere that you have internet access, including tablets, including phones. You can also load the mobile app on, on your phone as well and do the same thing right from your phone. So let's say you're sitting at home it's Sunday night, you know you're not going to be in the next day. You can easily uh, log in and make those status changes with your mobile phone or by logging into the web client. So I'm going to go ahead and put myself back to available. So now if I get a call, my phone is going to ring. I'm going to just touch ahead on a couple of topics here. In older phone systems, if you got a voicemail, and let's say you went away for the weekend and you got six voicemails, and you come in Monday, you have to listen from the newest to the oldest, when, when really you want to get to the one in the middle. Well, this is visual. These are, these are voicemails that I have. The ones that are bolded are ones that I haven't heard yet. So if I get a voicemail, I can, I can do several things. I can just download the audio file and it'll go straight to my computer. Maybe I want to forward it to someone. Maybe I want to put it in an um, Outlook folder for later use. Maybe I want to play it on my phone, okay? If my phone is connected, I would be able to 
in this case, um, play it and, and hear it on my phone. I'll go ahead and decline that. Um, or I could, I could actually return the call this way. So um, voicemail is, is really easy to manage all through the web client. I'm going to make a call coming in here, and, and we're going to, let's see if I can uh, simulate how the switchboard can work. I'm going to um, have a call come in to uh, James Markley's phone, and we're going to, I'm going to show you some of the things that administrators can do. Um, I'll go ahead and answer that call. As you can see back on the main screen, I'm going to go ahead and mute this so we don't have to listen to the echo. I can tell that James is on a call. Okay. And so what I can infer from that, if I look at the switchboard, I can see how long he's been on a call. I can see, you know, the number he's calling. Um, but let's say in a call center environment where you have many people on the phone and you have new employees coming in. You may want to be able to assist those new employees uh, while they're on calls. I'm going to click on this call. One of the features of 3CX is I have the ability to listen in on this call. Since I'm an administrator on this system, since I'm a manager on this system, I've given myself the ability to do this. I can listen in on this call going in. They don't know that I'm on the call, but I'm able to, from a management perspective, be able to um, assist James in his efforts. Let's take it up a uh, level. Let's say that I want to just talk, to, I'm going to whisper, it's called. What this does is it is it lets me get in the ear of James where, you know, he's having a, he's having a conversation and someone asks him a question that I know he doesn't know. So I can give them the advice. I said, maybe, maybe what you want to say here is you want to be able to tell them that, you know, on, under the Active Directory, we can, you know, make those settings for them. So it's, it's a real helpful tool. And then even, even the third level up, if I wanted to barge in, what that would do at that point is it's going to create a three-way conference. So James, myself, and the end caller are all going to be on the call. So these, these are some of the things that you can do with active calls that are going on. And if I go back over to the switchboard, I can see all of the active calls that are happening. If I have call queues set up, I can, um, I can choose which particular queue that I'm interested in. Um, the wall board is a great feature to understand if you are in a, in a call center type environment, you can have this popped out into another window and up on a screen. In our, in our support call center, we have a big screen so that they can always see how many calls uh, are actually going on, how many calls are waiting, how many of my agents are busy with calls. So this is a good way to see the current um, at a glance status of all the calls in this queue. We could spend another 15, 30 minutes talking about the conferencing abilities of this, but I just want to kind of give you an idea of what, of what we can do. This is moving on to, let's say I wanted to schedule a conference call with a group of people. It can do video as well, but I'm going to go ahead and just tell it that I wanted to do an audio call. I want to schedule it for later. Let's say I want to schedule it for tomorrow at uh, 1244. I can go ahead and type up all of my information here, and I could tell it what is my default calendar. I could go and create this. What it does is it automatically pops this into my Outlook 365. I could address it, send off the invitations. They have the number you know, that, that they call into along with the conference ID, and it just makes life easy. Um, as I knew, we weren't going to be able to cover all of the features of the web client in 15 minutes. Um, I wanted to just give you a brief glance at this to hopefully interest you in, in this product. Um, and, if there's, and if you find that you want a more in-depth look at this, please feel free to call us here at Data Tech.